you look straight across here and I cut that portion of the log, you would find that, and if we could go down to the, to the board here, we would find that we have very, very, very close grain right in this area right here, which is uh, 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 the same kind of place that in fact we would have right here. On the other hand, if we would take a, a uh, cut right across here, the board would come out to be uh, very, a, a grain pattern that was a long ways away. And if you look right here on this, on this log, you can see in this area how this grain pattern is a long ways away. Now what's important to note is that this close grain pattern will probably expand and contract when it wets and dries no more than about 4%. Whereas this grain pattern right here will in fact uh, expand and contract maybe as much as 8%. And so we can see that this tight grain pattern is a far more stable board than in fact this right here is. Now, I like to have this kind of grain pattern when I'm making plaques, and I like to have this kind of grain pattern down here if I'm in, in, in the process of making, as example, flooring. I've made a little flooring over the years, and uh, 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 you want that really, really tight grain pattern. So there's a big difference between where the wood came from on the log and how you actually milled it, and we can do and change a lot of things, especially with bigger logs, on how we we, we mill it. We call, when in fact we, we, we take a log and we uh, cut it perpendicular to grain, such as you see right here, right here, right here, right here. If we would cut that that way, it's close to what we'd call quarter sawn grain. Actually, it's not exactly quarter sawn. This would be more like we call riff, riff, riff cut. But in fact, uh, we tried to get as much perpendicular to that grain as we can when we quarter saw, and actually that wood is more valuable because in fact it contracts and expands to a smaller extent, and it's actually stronger wood than the other direction.